Welcome back, guys. We're back on that BS with this Scania right here. Everybody's been seeing the white Scania. We haven't made any videos with old Red here. Which, by the way, everyone say hello to Griff. That's the official name of this truck because we've got the Griffin on the back looking freaking cool. This video may not be what someone's going to like. Or a lot You've of seen the title and thumbnail. You probably already know what's going to happen here. But we're taking a lot of things into consideration before we start dismantling this year's truck. So let's talk about that real quick. We're going to start drawing lines. Oh, Blake brought us our handy dandy ladder. So a lot of you are probably wondering, Bruce, why are you cutting your Scania in half? Well, as a lot of you know, this cab is in really bad shape, right? The whole truck's in really rough shape, and it's going to be 1,000% impossible to make this thing road legal here in the USA without replacing every single thing on it. And let's just show you a few things. So, what kinds of broken stuff here? This mirror is barely hanging on here. The door handle you can't even open if you close it all the way. You're never going to get it open. No fender. The uh, cab mounts completely shot. So lots of things that would be pretty easy to fix if it was in Europe. If we were in Europe. But we're not. We're in America. You know, the steps. The, all this stuff's falling apart on this truck. It's in terrible shape. So that's why we've kind of rode it off and started doing all the crazy stuff with it. Because it's never going to be road legal again to drive down the highway. So therefore, it's going to be our burnout truck sled pulling truck we've got a sled pull the 12th and 13th of january at zellwood in zellwood florida with the fl pullers we're going to be pulling with them so we're going to be sled pulling this we got to put a clutch in it put some big retires on it do some dry shaft and safety stuff to it and build a hitch we have less than 10 days to do all that plus we've got to make the cab lower because we can't put it on our trailer so let's do some measurements so right now the top of this cab is like really tall <laughs> it's like 13 feet almost and we put it on diesel life's low boy you know i'll throw a picture up right here it was a foot like a foot maybe like 16 inches over height and we can't have that and we can't keep borrowing chris's trailer and even if we get my rgm that's supposed to be here in about a month it's still going to be over height right the pulling truck we're putting stacks on it this week we're at to pull the tops of the stacks off when we transport it uh, but we're going to put it on our step deck which is about 41 inches off the ground right so with this being that tall we'd be at like 16 feet in the air which is way too tall but if we say the cab was that tall right there right lake you want to do the honors of holding the measuring tape right at the top of the door right if that's where the cab was we would be roughly 111 inches so we'd be like right at 12 and a half feet on the trailer which is legal 13.6 is what's legal if we brought from here up off a cab now i don't want to just go sawzall cutting it like a crazy person we did that with an old gmc cab over years ago people lost their minds i'm sure a lot of you are going to be pretty upset with us cutting this cab up because of the history of this truck but let's face it this truck if i wouldn't have picked it up it would have been rotting in the field for the next 100 years so we've given it a new life the legend lives on we are going to keep the sweet holden airbrush get up on the back back here i'm going to try to like maybe cut around all of this if not it's just going to be right across the top but we are going to keep this all this back here on the back the side covers are going to have to come off because there's not going to be oh well i guess there will be an upper mount on that side to keep the top there so we'll have the flarings on it still but basically what we're going to do it's come right across the top up here, come down just like this, and follow this door line right there, all the way around. I'm gonna get a hold of my buddy Kenny because we've seen the Sphimpas R1000 truck that that guy had, and he had like half the windshield. So I'm gonna call Kenny and see how hard would it be to cut this windshield in half. Oh, it's a thought, right? Yeah. I think that would be cool. So, let's get our ladder, start drawing some lines, and then uh, we're working on another project in the shop right now. We'll be posting videos about it at a later date. So we can't do anything in the shop right now, so we're kind of outside. Awesome. Super cool. All right, permanent marker. I'm thinking we follow this line. So, and you may be wondering, what are you gonna do with all the metal you've cut? We're gonna get some of these like button rivets, 
and screw them to the cab and have nice leather that like lays over everywhere we cut to hide people's arm from getting hurt. And on top of that, we're gonna have to store it inside, but it really doesn't, it's shorter than the mud truck and the mud truck will be outside eventually. So this thing would stay inside the shop. So right here is my proposed plan, okay? okay. We're gonna follow this line down just like that and keep it come right across here. Just like that right there to the door. Same thing with the door. I'm gonna bring it right there and come right up just like that. What do you think, Ryan? So we're gonna keep all this. You can see where like the body line is actually cracking up here from where it was like put together. So all of this is gonna go, this is gonna go, that's gonna go. The windows will just keep rolled down. Door's gonna get cut in half. Jeez. So we can get a little uh, die grinder and start cutting like the outside. Like we, we wanna keep this door, door hinge here so we go like right above the top of it and if we can find a way to keep half the windshield it will keep half the windshield if not it's probably gonna have to come out but just imagine like going down the drag strip and your head just popped out the top <laughs> you know i think this gives us a pass because we're building a truck like Sphimpus did so as we're not just like cutting a scania in half but it's already been done we're doing it the american redneck way yeah so it's okay. That makes sense. Comment down below. It is this okay? Probably not. <laughs> Ain't no choice now. So just think of all the weight savings. Dude, this thing's gonna go like two seconds faster down the drag strip, too. Think about it. You sure that's level to the other side? I mean, we'll double check it, but I think people get the point. Um I think we need to we don't have a, we don't want to sawzall because if we start sawzall and stuff it's gonna look like trash so maybe we'll back it up over there next to the shop and uh go from there start cutting while we got some daylight it's gonna take a lot of cutting oh, maybe yeah. we can start with the doors roll the windows down we'll get the half the doors cut see how we're looking we'll go from there <laughs> Well guys, say goodbye to the top of the cab. You know what, I'll show you something too, look. This thing, listen. What the heck is that? There's water in the door. Oh. This thing's got leaks everywhere. We already rolled the windows down for the last time. All right, so like I said, we're gonna cut right there, right up here. We're gonna get rid of this mirror coming off yeah now i'm gonna come right up here like that and then go cut the top jeez so we're good got an air leak down there it's got leaks everywhere mm. so we start just cutting we're going to remove a lot of interior parts because we can use a lot for that truck even though it's red it can be covered in a different color so we're going to save everything possible so that we're not destroying parts we need i got all my buddy kenny i'm waiting for him to get back to me about the windshield hopefully we can cut the windshield in half. Um, a lot of you may say, well, Bruce, save it for this truck. Um, I would, but it's already had a, a, a dip rip or a, a repair right here in the windshield already, which, and one right there, a crack. So if we can't get it cut in half, we're gonna probably just removing the windshield altogether.
Well, guys, things are happening pretty quick, as you saw. <laughs> I'm sure the comments are blowing up right now. People are not happy, but this is just what we have to do in order to haul this thing down the road here in America um, because of the height. And on top of that, I think it's going to be really cool. We're going to be keeping it stored inside. It's got all kinds of leaks and stuff. And we're going to have a very own swim bus. Uh, this would be called the, uh, I don't know, what come, well, the name's Riff, but they have an R1000. This is the, the R999. Oh. 6969. Boomba. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Cody's going to finish getting that corner cut. I've got the back of the cab cut. We managed to not do anything with the holding any of the stuff on this rubber starting to come off, so we're going to be pressure washing that soon. Um, so there's just the top of the logo is going to be going. It's all happening really fast. Well, I got lots of cutting done. We're gonna try to pick up the front of the cab very carefully and uh, see how much more cutting we need to do. Busted right there, right there, and those are technically not legal here in the U.S. to use. Um, if we do, this, it's been filled. That's what that little sticker is. So, if we do decide to put a windshield up here, maybe we'll just get like a really nice piece of plexiglass cut or something. Probably not. Who knows? We'll just hold pressure on it. And I'll pry it out. I'm gonna put some pressure. It's getting real. Oh, oh, wait, pal, yeah. What the? All right, stop. Do the other side like that now. <laughs> Do the other side just like that. I can't. I ain't got no steering wheel. Is it like a school bus? Push. It just popped yeah, it's out. Like a, it's like a school bus. Huh? No, 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 don't do this side. Just do the other side now. The school buses are meant to pop out in the back way. What the heck? You get that on camera? Mm-hmm. Now this side's going to pop and break. Yeah. Lay down in the seat and do it again. Your legs too short. All right, you gonna pull on the rubber or something, or are you gonna get in? I think just, just kind of hold the easy pressure on it. Are you gonna hold the windshield so it don't fall out? Yeah, we got it. It's gonna hit the top before it comes out. It's gonna break. It's going. I already cracked. There you oh. go. Oh. All right, so do the center. What the heck? <laughs> Nothing where it's breaking. Give me the flat hit. Ooh. Ooh. You did. On it. You right did. there. Oh, whoa. Dude. Glass going everywhere. Out now, ain't it? You should throw something at it. Well, let's not make it bust. Hang on, I don't want to make a mess. What? What the? No way. You see that? That's yeah. I was calling you to take the toy. Oh, it's coming out. Watch out, Lake. Dude, people are going to be hating on you. The whole windshield, dude. Don't get your hands on it. Oh, my 
your hands off or your eye. I'm not worried about my hands, I'm worried about my eyes. Take that side of it up. Over there. Dang. One scan your window out. For sale. There's no going back. Well, now I see the cutoff wheel and cut it right there. We learned something new while all this was happening. Don't let Bruce pull, pull your windshield. Look at that. So this opens up. That's crazy. I wonder how do you check coolant with all this folded up? Right there. <laughs> what the heck? Now you know. More, you know. All right, well. What are you gonna cut off about halfway? Cut it right there even with the door. I think it'll be a very big windshield. I don't plan on going too fast. Well, we broke the glass. We've managed to almost destroy a lot of stuff. We've destroyed a lot, I'm sorry. Sorry for the Scania truck watchers. This is strictly for fun, trucks junk. I don't know how many times I have to say that. Like everywhere we dig, there's more stuff broken. Mirror is about to fall off. So we're salvaging the, some of the interior pieces and the chrome bars up top. I think we'll be able to use that on the other Scania, but. You're gonna let it down. Yeah. Woo. Cab's coming off. What those precision cuts I made too, man. Pretty on point. I'm just excited that we can throw this thing on the trailer and travel with it because there's been so many events, like our viewers don't understand, there have been so many events we could have went to that we didn't have a way to get it there. So just think of all the stuff we're gonna get to participate in with the Scania. That's the way I see it. We're cutting up this thing. We still got all beauty here. It's going under a full resurrection, but can't think of very many people in the USA that have two Scanias in their shop right now. Shoot. Comment on that. Oh. All right, Master Dakota says it's ready to come off, so we'll see. Oh, oh gosh, dude. Did I break anything? Not yet. Not yet. Dude, it's like a mouth that just opened. It's like a cookie monster. Oh man! Dude, this is nuts. A lot of faith in that little strap. For real. We good? Yeah. You're almost touching the roof. Oh, no way. Look at the leak. That's from the inside of the cab. What is it, Ryan? Dude. Jeez. Golly. This is nuts. Now I think we can transport it down the road pretty easily. What do you think? I think so. I think so. Yeah, this cab is in a lot worse shape than everybody thought. Look at the horns. They're like, we've been leaking Dude, look up at here. the rust. On the sunroof. That's actually an escape hatch is what I learned. Really? Yeah. 
Yeah. Like the top of that cab, it looks brand new compared to this one. That's for sure. Yeah, that's like RV weatherproof ceiling. We could give a giveaway with these horns. Oh yeah. Legendary horns. Legendary. <laughs> Look at this thing, dude. Just sit up in the driver's seat. <laughs> All the dust in here, I'm breathing is probably. Gonna... Yeah. Same. same. Dude, this is wicked. Now I just gotta like cut this stuff to make it match. No, I think we just leave it. I can see everything. <laughs> everything but behind you. <laughs> yeah. That just looks this crazy. Wicked. <laughs> that looks so dumb. <laughs> It'll look good once we cut these. Cut this. Like, hop up in the passenger seat with them. Dude, it looks so dumb. <laughs> now you need to take your grinder again. This is funny, Logan. <laughs> oh! The back of it looks pretty cool. I can't wait to see this thing go down the road. I'm going to take salt on and cut. It won't cut. It might cut. Oh, because it's flopping around too much, but we can actually hold it now. Can we? Talk about a sunroof. I think you should put a pool in it now. A pool? <laughs> Will it start? Bad weather's getting out here. We're roll these windows up. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it actually goes up, though. It's a little wobbly now. Oh, it about <laughs> fell right out. Oh, that's why that side won't go down. This Drop door. top. This is crazy looking. Well, we know what we have to do tomorrow. Clean up. Clean up. Lots of trimming right here. Oh yeah. And test drive. Oh yeah, I can't wait for that. Dude, think about it. A normal person driving down the road, they're gonna see this, the exhaust, all the stuff on the back. Think about it, what the that heck? Right no, that's a convertible. I think we have DOT approved sunglasses. Shoot, and hat. Oh, we got the whole road out here. We didn't have to drive down the actual highway. You should take it I'm you. just pumped I that we can... I think Zephyr Hills is a rat rod. I'm just more pumped that we can load this thing on the trailer and go anywhere. At that point now. We do have a lot of wires like look at all these this thing had to have had like a crazy sound system in it at one point because this is all stuff for sound system just missing a piece of it just missing the top but hey all right well that's pretty much a wrap for tonight we'll be back on the same video tomorrow getting all this cleaned up clean up our mess in here and getting it pulled out of the shop find somewhere to rip a donut maybe dude we need to it's been a minute oh yeah then we'll be putting the clutch in it very soon. Well, folks, we're back out here the next morning. We've tidied up the truck. I think it really is going to look good once we take some cloth and put it right across the top. We got a lot of this cut. And once we tidy it up and put some buttons with leather all the way around it, it is not going to look bad, honestly. It's really not. We'll do something with these mirrors. We'll get some other kind of small mirrors mounted on there. We're gonna have to uh, cover the tops here. We're gonna maybe get a custom windshield made for it, all in good time. But for now, we're gonna cut this crazy exhaust off that I welded on there, because in order to sled pull it, the exhaust has to exit vertically. So we're just gonna make one cut right up there on the top of that exhaust and get rid of all this stuff that I welded on here for the time being. And uh, yeah, we're about to cut the exhaust up.
There you have it. We have a single stack pointing upward. You know what it is? Put an exhaust tip on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, we'll just drag this thing out of the way. Just one beam. Yeah. We have so much exhaust laying around here now. All right, let's get this thing out of the shop. Let's go drive it. Where's my helmet? We need some eye protection. <laughs> It looks so weird. It really does. Camera doesn't do justice. Like, this is crazy. Dude, that's crazy. Switch some airlines around on the transmission because we had them backwards, so then that picks up now. Oh, dude, it is pouring smoke. Oh my god, dude, that boy is running. Dude, that thing was getting it, dude. Holy cow. Did you see that smoke cloud? Weight reduction, dude. Oh my god. fun and games we're not supposed to be whipping donuts doing burnouts in the parking lot here so hope you enjoyed our drop top scania video it's a beauty oh yeah our goal is to make this look like the Svimpas truck that we've seen in sweden at the Svimpas shop that scania brought us to a lot of you are gonna hate it a lot of you are gonna love it but it's kind of the thing i love it i think it's gonna be really cool it's gonna draw a ton of attention get a lot of views 
At the end of the day, we just want to bring awareness to Scania trucks. And at the end of the day, it's got a V8, which you're never going to be late in, oh. which is the coolest part. So, um, next video, we're going to be getting it pulled in the shop, putting that sled pulling clutch in it. We got it from our friends at Yuli Voimala out of Finland. And uh, the clutch put in it. And then who knows? I think maybe we'll load it up and try to take it somewhere and do some drifting and donuts and who knows what else. We did have an open invite to the Freedom Factory. I just got to call that favor in and see if it's still there. But uh, here she is. Man, is this thing freaking sweet. Oh, yeah. I love it. Comment down. Everybody's already commented down below. <laughs> but it is what it is. It's going to be an animal next weekend at the sled pulls. That's for dang sure. Wheelie pulling machine. Oh, yeah. See y'all later.